my name is John J. Hooker. If ever there was a Tennessee political figure who thought big, I thought I had a real good chance to be elected president of the United States. But fought for the few. I think it's the most important issue uh, 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 because it goes to the question of liberty. It was John J. Hooker. Uh, this was a real character. That was a descendant of Tennessee Governor William Blunt, who signed the Constitution of the United States. Hooker was a larger-than-life political fighter for civil rights. He worked for Bobby Kennedy. So I would say Bobby uh, was unique character, and uh, every time I think about him, it brings tears. I loved Bobby Kennedy. And supported John F. Kennedy. Uh, most uh, uh, charismatic, uh, easygoing, quick study. And Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was, was uh, 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 the most a man with both resolved. Hooker made millions and lost millions through his ventures with mini pearl fried chicken and STP, and Hooker's Hamburgers. Do you know how many fast food stores there are in America today? He was the Democratic gubernatorial nominee twice, losing in 1970 to Republican Winfield Dunn. The political adversaries became close over the years. There's nobody I know that I love and respect more than Winfield Dunn. Hooker died fighting what he called the last great civil right, death with dignity. Well, first of all, I, I started caring about this long before I found out that I, my name was on the list for an early retirement. Diagnosed with terminal melanoma, Hooker testified before state lawmakers and filed a lawsuit seeking to make it legal for terminal patients to choose when and how they die. And I have felt for a long time that the government ought to keep their nose out of that and that the decision where they live and die ought to be a, a decision between them and the doctor. And unfortunately, the law of Tennessee says otherwise. And so I'm fr frightened to see that people have liberty and that they don't have to suffer unnecessarily and that they can go when the time comes. Hooker knew his time was short when I visited with him and asked him what he thought his legacy would be. I don't think anybody who knows me would claim that I was the most modest man they ever met. <laughs> My father once told me, he said, there's no greater blessing than the love of the sound of your own voice. Uh, I would like to have a legacy. Uh, but m more than anything else, I want to be able to look in the mirror, uh, which I do every morning to shave, and say, good morning, sir. You're doing the right thing.